a walking tour of the Granville Public Market in Vancouver, Canada. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. How do you travel guides that are fun, informed, and entertaining? And in this video, I'm gonna take you inside this market right here, one of Vancouver's great markets. And of course, we're gonna go in this door since it's the yellow door. Now, if you're looking for some place to eat that you can definitely take the whole family or whatever group you're with for them to enjoy, you will find something here. There are tons of eateries. On the left is a rotisserie and gourmet shop that has some premium meats right here. Do you want some carved Angus top sirloin? Or perhaps you want some croque monsieur or sandwiches? Now, something that's popular in Vancouver is honey. I'm sure we're gonna see some maple syrup later, but this stall specializes in honey, honey, and more honey. If you're looking for more of the sweets variety, this macaron shop right here just has macarons. One little macaron's gonna cost you $2. Mango lemonade, black forest, lots of different flavors. On the left, Gourmet Butchers. They've been here since 1981. We've got more baked goods here on the right. We've got some raspberry Linz cookies right there. Those look pretty good, $3 each. Lots more pastries in here. Let's take a look at some of these meats right here. If you're bringing home some tomahawk steaks, $42 a pound, those look pretty good. Now any market is gonna have veggies and this section right here is the fruit and veg section. Some good blueberries, pomelos. Look at those strawberries, look at those blackberries. We've even got some dragon fruits right here. One of my favorite fruits. Okay, this is the little corner of the public market. There's a coffee shop here called JJ Bean. And now we're gonna go ahead and walk into the central part of the market. As we're going into the central part of the market, on the left, they just sell ham and cheese. That's what we got here. All the ham and cheese you might want, you can find, plus some pickles. Lots more fruit and vegetables from this vendor. Obviously it's the similar fruit and vegetables that are currently in season. You see, this is the central part of the market. We walked in from the bay over there. We can get frozen yogurt here on the right. Grains, nuts, and dried fruits from this vendor, kind of bulk things. Today is a Monday that I'm shooting this on November 1st, so pandemic still in effect, so not a lot of seats inside. Social distancing, gotta wear masks indoors. Less tourists here than usual because you have to be fully vaccinated to come to Canada. They've just opened up, and so that's why it's not as busy as it might typically be. That was the door we came in, and there's one vendor right here called the Market Grill, serving up breakfast, burgers, sandwiches. There we go. Out there in the outdoor patio where there's seating, there was somebody playing a guitar. That's where I started. You might have heard that guitar in the background. We've got the nut merchant right here that has all sorts of almonds. Look at all those almonds and pecans. One cone is $12. Okay, we're gonna head up this way and turn to the right past this vendor. In case you're wondering how much these raspberries are. Wow, that's expensive. $10 a pound for these raspberries. And I guess I never buy raspberries by the pound. I usually buy them by small things. Oh, look at these grapes. These are table grapes. These are some really long, kind of funny looking grapes. Okay, continuing into the market. There's another butcher shop here on the right. Candy Apple Store on the left, currently closed for candy apples. There is a poultry shop right here. Just has chicken stuff and eggs. There are public restrooms uh, in this public market, so if you need to use the restroom, no problem. This section up here looks to have a bit more food vendors, and this is kind of like the food hall section. So on the right, we have Fresh Valley juice and salad. 
which has a bunch of vegetarian dishes here and uh, Chinese food would appear. Now this is interesting. This is called Hobbs Pickles. New York taste, West Coast vibe. And they just sell, guess what? Pickles, pickles, and more pickles. This one's busy. Chow Veggie Express. Just vegetable Chinese food. How do you pick? Uh, if you want something a little more, you know, quick and less vegetables, pizza right here. This is funny. And they say their pizza is seagull approved. Be careful when going outside because there are a lot of seagulls outside. I love the Canadian sense of humor. Sprig. What do we got here at Sprig? This looks like a salad spot. We've got Omi sushi. And they've got a bunch of pre-made sushi rolls right there. We've got Sen Pad Thai, the classic Thai noodle dish. They've also got some braised pork belly, green curry beef, and some crispy pork belly there in the back. That looks pretty good. Vancouver's in the Canadian state of British Columbia, so definitely gonna find fish and chips here at Celine's. Oh, I like this neat little area here under the Blue Parrot Cafe. This is also a public seating area, so it's not just part of the cafe, but this definitely is like the coolest spot to sit. This place, mostly, you know, coffee, pastries, that sort of thing. You find the apple strudel there for $4. Neat. Kind of nautical theme to this. You can see the bridge over to Vancouver there. You can see another bridge over to Vancouver that way. They've got sanitizing stations here, so if you want to sanitize your tables or get some hand sanitizer, you can. And this is that outdoor seating area again. It's pretty cool today. It's about five degrees Celsius, so most people want to kind of hang out indoors where it's warm and comfy. All right, let's go ahead and walk back through the food hall section. We just saw the coffee machines there on the right of that cafe. All right, we got Muffin Granny Crepe and Bakery Cafe. They like their baked goods here for sure. A lot of muffins, pumpkin, raisin spice, and a spot where they can make some fresh French crepes. Chinese food here at Gourmet Walk. Looks like a typical Panda Express steam table Chinese food. We've got some Mexican food here. And you know, I'm sure this Mexican food might be good, but as somebody from Southern California, from San Diego, I think I'm gonna skip the Mexican food here today. We've got Terra Breads. Did I mention there were a lot of bakeries? There are, this has like big rustic breads, Parmesan herb, blueberry bread. This is cool. They've got cinnamon cardamom cruffins. These were all the rage in New York City a few years ago, the cruffin, the cross between a croissant and a muffin, it's kind of like a, flaky, buttery muffin. You can build your own sandwiches here. They've got German sausages, gourmet German sausages. This looks pretty good. You can see the sausages back there on the grill, grilling up. They've also got pierogies. Interesting, you don't see pierogies all that often. You can get curry worst, so you can get your sausage with some curry, typical German. Oh, they've even got German schnitzel sandwiches that you could get there. Boy, if I was feeling like some German, I would do that. Oh, and then they show you, this is kind of what the picture you get. Uh, onions and sauerkraut always included with your sausage, as it should be. Long liner seafoods. They've got wild British Columbia smoked salmon. Definitely the seafood item of choice here is salmon, smoked salmon, maple glaze. This, all the seafood we've had in Vancouver has been really good. So you can get some of the smoked salmon for you just to, you know, take and eat. If you live here, you can get some of the ones that you can cook up at home. Maybe in your Airbnb, you've got places to do that too. I just love the guy's yellow outfit right there, as you would. All right, there were a couple of spots that we didn't see here. We got Benton Brothers Fine Cheese Coffee Shop on the right. If you're looking for flowers, there's a nice V and J plant shop here on the right. Lots of plants and flowers. 
South China Seas Trading Company. So this is kind of cool because this is a whole vendor of just um, Chinese like herbs and spices, curries, maybe not just all Chinese, but definitely Asian flavored. Vancouver has a very large Asian population. So they buy all that. This Oyama Sausage Company had a really long line at the front door. They've got uh, sausages, they've got hams, uh, minimum orders 100 grams, everything is by weight. And then this is really cool. Look at all these salamis they have here. These are neat, the salamis that are hanging there. Those look pretty good. And uh, you can see they've got all the different types here. Like most of these vendors right now, they are just taking card payments only due to the pandemic. That's a fairly typical thing here in Vancouver. This vendor sells a bunch of olives. Over here on the left, we got a just a bagel vendor. How much is one bagel gonna cost you? A dollar seventy-five for one bagel. And uh, we're heading back here to the produce section. And then the final vendor that we're gonna check out, definitely one of the most famous, if not the most famous, is the donut shop in here. The donut shop that has the line out the door, Lee's Donuts with those yellow boxes. You can see all the different donuts back there. Raspberry jelly, sugar bear, peanut, mango donuts, butter crunch. As soon as I am done with this video because I've worked up an appetite, you know what I'm gonna be getting. I'm gonna be getting some of those donuts. And if you don't believe me that they had a long line, there you go, that's the line out the door. During the pandemic, pretty short but still you can tell popular that all these people line up here during that pan pandemic. Well, fellow explorers, if your travel brings you to Vancouver, definitely check out the Granville Public Market for some tasty eats. If you are heading here, you'll enjoy some more videos from my Vancouver series. You'll find a link to the playlist here on the screen, more in the description below. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of those videos.